Item number, SCP-2513. Object class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-2513 is to be guarded by armed personnel at all times, with orders to detain any non-authorized persons attempting to cross SCP-2513. An area of 10 square kilometers around SCP-2513 is to be cordoned off as a nature preserve to prevent any possible use by civilian populations. Given the low saturation of information relating to SCP-2513, extant historical records need not be tampered with. Historical records of SCP-2513 that are not already cataloged are to be reported to the SCP-2513 project head. Description SCP-2513 is a bridge located approximately 7 kilometers north of the city of Ragusa, Italy. Originally built by the Roman Republic and restored in 2006 by the Ragusa Heritage Society, it shows notable signs of decay owing to its age. SCP-2513 will, when crossed by an individual from south to north, cause a sudden and irrational hatred of the Carthaginian Republic, a city-state that existed in modern-day Tunisia until 146 BC. Further testing has determined that persons possessing no prior knowledge of Carthage will manifest this effect as a general dislike of North Central Africa and its current occupants. Testing on individuals with no knowledge of the continent of Africa have yielded little to no manifestation of SCP-2513's effect. However, individuals without a prior knowledge of Carthage will, when informed of its existence, begin to show the standard effects of SCP-2513. SCP-2513's effect has been shown to trigger from as little information as the phrase, I am from Carthage and Carthage exists. While the intensity of this effect has been shown to diminish over time, only a north to south crossing of the bridge has shown a capacity to fully reverse the effects. SCP-2513 was first built in 253 BC by the Roman Republic. It was ostensibly built to facilitate the passage of men from the city of Ragusa to aid the Roman Republic during several battles in Sicily. Following construction, however, the city of Ragusa shifted allegiances to aid the Carthaginian forces occupying the island. In 251 BC, the city of Ragusa once again shifted its allegiance to the Roman Republic, unlike several other cities in Sicily during the remainder of the war. This was the last recorded shift of allegiance for the city. By 132 BC, roads leading to and from SCP-2513 were no longer the primary methods to move from southern Sicily to the remainder of the island. Little other historical record of SCP-2513 exists except for a note in historical accounts by Vincentius Bonajutis of the 1693 Sicilian earthquake. A single footnote relating to the destruction of the bridge is contained in his account, which was published in the scientific journal Philosophical Transactions of the Royal Society. Of note, however, are several related and unpublished treatises written by Bonjutis on the dangers of a resurgent Carthaginian Republic, including a specific objection to the rule of the Murinid dynasty. This is believed to be the earliest recorded SCP-2513 related event. Stones which possess a carving related to the Roman god Janus by an unidentified mason have been recovered from the area containing SCP-2513. SCP-2513 incorporates several of these stones into its construction, and further testing involving these stones is considered a priority to further understanding of the object. Experiment 2513-2 Volunteer, Dr. McCullough. For this experiment, a plastic bust of Carthaginian military commander Hannibal Barca was placed at the north end of SCP-2513. Dr. McCullough begins his walk across SCP-2513. Halfway, he breaks into a full stride and leaps at the bust, pummeling it with his fists. Dr. McCullough. Fuck you. How many widows did you make? I hope you're rotting in Tartarus, you bearded asshole f desert fuck. Dr. McCullough continues his assault on the bust until it is beaten beyond recognition. After spitting on the ruined bust, he walks across SCP-2513. Dr. McCullough. I don't have any siblings, but when I looked at that thing, all I could think was, this asshole killed my brother. End of Experiment 2513. Experiment 2513-7 Volunteer Assistant Smith Assistant Smith crosses SCP-2513 from south to north. Transcript follows. Assistant Smith Hold up. Why are we why are we even doing this? Why are we dropping every goddamn thing we have on those Carthaginian fucks? Dr. Rudo Jacobs y You are aware that Carthage ceased to exist over 2,000 years ago, right? Assistant Smith then we drop them on Tunis. We could all sleep better if they were gone. You and I both know how those Carthaginian bastards are. We'll let them keep growing their empire, and the next thing you know, they're knocking on our gates. Dr. Rudo Jacobs. 
Th thank you, Assistant Smith. You can come back over now. Assistant Smith crosses back over the bridge with no incident. Dr. Rudo Jacobs. Still want us to burn down Carthage? Assistant Smith. Sir, I, I wanted to nuke Carthage. End experiment 2513-7. Experiment 2513-10. Test subjects. D-29632 and D-21154. D-29632 was ordered to cross SCP-2513 from south to north, while D-21154 was provided with a phrase to speak once D-29632 had fully crossed to the other side. Transcript follows. D-21154. Do you, uh, you feel any different? D-29632. Kinda. Yeah, I... I feel, I don't know... Angry? I mean, like, I want to punch somebody right in their throat, but I, I don't know who. D-21154 reads from the provided note. D-21154. I am a true son of Carthage. D-29632. You're a what? I'll fucking kill you, you fucking backstabbing, elephant-riding son of a bitch! D-29632 charges back across the bridge, but his body language becomes much less aggressive as he returns. By the time he reaches D-21154 and grabs his collar, D-29632 has calmed down considerably. D-29632... Uh, sorry, you said the word Carthage and I, I felt like I needed to be your brains in. D-21154, you're not gonna hurt me? D-29632... It was three seconds ago, but not now. The fuck happened to me? End experiment 2513-10. Researcher Newman was subject to imminent release from Foundation employment and associated amnestic treatments. Due to these factors, a request was entertained from researcher Newman to cross SCP-2513 in order to test SCP-2513's effects over an extended period of time. This request was granted. To prevent any possible leaks, the following containment protocols were enacted during researcher Newman's affected state. Researcher Newman would be granted a small room in Wing D of Site 109, complete with a laptop provided by the Foundation. The laptop would record all of Researcher Newman's activity, and any and all internet access would be both monitored and subject to a 15-second delay to prevent leaks. 2. Any researchers specializing in the Semitic language group were to be temporarily relocated. 3. Researcher Newman would be accompanied by an armed guard at all times with orders to detain Researcher Newman if he became violent. Over the course of a week, researcher Newman spent most of his time on the laptop. While not accessing the laptop, he would often attempt to inform other researchers and assistants about his hatred of Carthage. Notable activity on the laptop includes using search engines with prompts such as Fuck Carthage, Carthage Goddamn Pirates, Hannibal Was a Pig, Carthage Must Be Destroyed, and I Hate Carthage. Downloading and playing a popular strategy game, creating scenarios wholly devoted to crushing Carthage with overwhelming odds as Rome. Reading and rereading accounts of the destruction of Carthage, along with repeated vandalism of articles about Carthage. Engaging in long and protracted arguments with players who preferred to play as Carthage in another popular strategy game. 169 hours after the experiment began, researcher Newman's affected state began to noticeably diminish, although not dissipate completely. After another 24 hours in quarantine, researcher Newman was escorted back to SCP-2513 and crossed the bridge from north to south, immediately relieving him of the effects of SCP-2513. Foundation surveillance of researcher Newman following termination of his employment has, to date, not led to the discovery of any further anti-Carthaginian sentiment.